I'll sit down and have several drinks. Arthur! Stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up heading in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Sure. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, then. I guess you're right. I'm happy to swap later if you want. I'm sure Grimshaw would find some problem with that. Hello, Arthur. You fighting for the other side now? Hello, Abigail. John? You sure that's the best outfit for these conditions? How are you doing? Feeling just fine. Mm-hmm. Hi, Pearson. Oh, hello. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Always the same people doing all the work, isn't it? Things look heavy, Arthur. Well done, Arthur.
You okay, boy? Uh, things all right? Mm. A little down. <laughs> hey there. Mr. Morgan? Whatever creature you worship, Mr. Bell, pray to it for humility. Good day. <laughs> My lady. Room here by the fire, Arthur. Mrs. Adler. Hi there, Arthur. Look at you, Williamson. You're as lazy as a toad and twice as ugly. You think you're a lawman now, do you? Hi, Karen. Oh, hey, Arthur. What you want, Micah? Nothing. I'm just being civil, my brother. <laughs> well, hello there. You really are a very charming man, aren't you? <sighs> it stinks a coward right around here. You, you need some new lines, Morgan. Listen, John.
Far be it from me for interfering in your business. But the boy is your business. I know, but... No. No buts. Dutch's bluster aside, he's right on this. But I would go a step further. I would say she get the hell away from here. We both know that ain't happening. What do you say, Arthur? There's a place to raise a boy. Better than how I grew up. Unfortunately, that ain't saying a whole heap. Now you hear me, John. I hear you, but I ain't doing what you say. Hosea. <coughs> that is not the right outfit for this weather. There he is. Howdy. Been quite a ride the past few weeks. Sure has. So, Arthur, is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Poker, anyone? Why not? Call. Looking all right here. I'll check. Check. At least it's something. Learning how to play. I'm gonna see you. Uh, how about we do this? Fine. Nah. How about we increase the stakes here? Okay. Impressive. That's something you'll regret soon enough. Why the hell not? I don't think so. I'll see you. Well, look what we got here. Don't you start laughing now. It's, uh, pretty pathetic. Well, you're real lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was horrible. Driscoll. You know, I ain't no old Driscoll. Our old neighbor back in Donegal was called old Driscoll. We couldn't stand him neither. You want some, big man? Don't annoy me, boy. Ah. You okay? Why don't you move next time? Kieran, Kieran. Ain't you cold?
Yeah, okay, boy. Warmer clothes, Mr. Morgan? Hello, sirs. Hello, Arthur. You okay? Hey. Hey there, Jack. Hiya, Arthur. What are you looking at there? Just looking. Well, let me know if you find anything. Okay. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well... Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. This way, on me. Nice, boy. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but. No, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. The 
And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Evening, partner. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. something if you're gonna stop, okay? Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue. Between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bell. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Get 
down and come on. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle. Okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Just a moment. When you've had a look, tell me what to do. Hey, hey, to the left of you. Hey, you might want to look over to the right. Hey, we came all this way, so can you look again and see if you spot anything? We got men everywhere. Off near the porch. Gatling gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. You gonna make a call? I'm gonna hit them head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. Soon as you shoot, I'll go.
Just body so far. I'll tell you when that changes. This one looks good.
here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Idiot. Yep. We need to get these back. Yep. Yeah. Come on. G up. Fall in. Coming our way. Keep it together here. Hey! Stop! What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one hour wagon! You see? See anyone chasing us? I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. Against my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... Yeah, no, but nothing. But me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur.
There, boy. Hey, mister. How do? Can't believe that worked. Yeah, well, we don't got time to celebrate. Come on. You even know what you're doing? I know how to take care of myself, partner. So, what's your plan anyway? Plan? I plan not to get caught. Now shut up and hurry up. It ain't my problem. It's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh, <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. <laughs> Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, I wouldn't know what day it was. Uh, you know, I keep thinking and about you, man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. That's how it is. Yep. You think stuff shock me these days. Hi, right, folks. Evening, Burr. Evening. Nice to see you again, partner. So, what are you in the market for? That gun seems to be well taken care of. 
Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. That's more like it. That's a wise investment. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own. You need anything special, you let me know. I carry only quality goods here. I maybe shouldn't say this, but I sold a derringer to a seamstress. A white one, of course. You spend much time in the parlor house? Every time I'm there, I thank God I'm armed. Always good to have a full stock on ammunition. Make sure you got enough rounds for it. Thanks. Been hearing some funny sounds coming from the gunsmiths. Something ain't right there. Just like last month.
It's all right, boy. Slow it up. Thank you. 